Hey, this is JNM with a very short Blender 2.83 tutorial for using the pose brush and face sets. I'm going to pose this low poly character. It is already unwrapped and textured, but it doesn't have a rig. The first thing that I will do is to add some UV seams. Just double click onto some edge loops and hold the shift key down so that you can select multiple edge loops at a time. And do this at the parts that you want to pose, and this is usually at the joints. Okay, now I select Edge from the menu and choose Mark Seams. Oh, see, I forgot some edges, so I select them too. And now I mark the seams for these as well. Alright, now that we have the UV seams, I switch to Sculpt Mode. Then open the Face Sets menu and choose Init Face Sets by UV Seams. Okay, but now we can see the Face Sets color and the color of the texture, so I switch here to the Solid Shading, so that just the Face Sets are visible. By the way, you can define the opacity of the face sets here in the overlays. Now, I have the pose brush selected and in the properties, you can see that there is a new rotation origin, which is by default set to topology, but I set this to face sets. Okay, so let's pose. I have the X symmetry enabled and when I hover now with the pose brush over the arm, you can see that the pose origin is snapping to the edges of the face sets. To define this origin, you can change the brush size or the zoom of the viewport. Now I disable the symmetry so that I can pose the different parts in a non-symmetrical way. It takes some time to get used to it, but it is really a nice and useful feature. Not just for low poly characters, also for example for mid poly sculptings. Now I'm posing the hands, the arms, the legs, just like you do with a rigged character. To have more control over some parts you can zoom in and then pose these parts slowly and carefully. You can also go ahead and use the Draw Face Sets brush to paint in more face sets, perhaps here at the joints. You can extend existing face sets when start drawing from these and holding down the Control key. And these new face sets give you more control over the mesh as well for posing these parts using the Pose brush. Okay guys, as I said, it's a very short one, but I liked the feature and I wanted to show it. If you liked the video, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, support me as my patron, this would be great. And I see you soon in the next one on JNM.